I'm Julie Johnson and I play Beulah and others in Come From Away. The premise of the show is that there are 12 actors that end up portraying several thousand people that were in either natives of Gander, Newfoundland and the people that helped or the people that landed in the plains. And so we represent several stories and we all get to play different characters at different times to help propel the plot and, uh, and help show what all went on up there. Because when you had almost 7,000 people land in airplanes within about an hour and a half period into towns that totaled about 7,000 people, there were a lot of stories that happened and a lot went on and so much, so many wonderful, wonderful people that pulled together in this little small town. They had very short notice that this was gonna happen because nothing like this had ever happened before. And when all those planes were grounded and they had to land somewhere, Gander happened to have an airport large enough from the World War II era and also from the 60s when planes used to have to stop and fuel before they could get on into the United States from Europe. American Airlines had the prettiest planes, so I applied as a flight engineer. So they happened to have an airstrip that would work, and then all of these people, this was just thrown at, into their laps, and they, you know, pulled everything together, clothing drive to give people a change of clothes and food, and, and they made three meals a day for five days for 7,000 people. Just do that math. <laughs> and they had people from all, all cultures, so they had to think about dietary restrictions, whether it was cultural or, or someone needed something different. You had non-meat eaters and, you know, the, they had thought about everything with people and they thought about their well-being. They also thought about their mental well-being, so they would have gatherings where they, they played music. We get that on stage. We have a wonderful Irish band. It's from the dark, evil way. Music was such an important part and is such an important, important part of Newfoundland existence and they, they brought music to these people to help calm them and help get their minds off of things. And so what I, as actors, what we try to do is take the, the writing that is so beautifully done by David and Irene take the writing and bring these characters to life because they are real. We've met them, they've been to the show um, many times, and the, the relationships were all so real, formed so quickly. One of the points that, that we get across is how the diversity of all the people that landed in this town, because it, it shows us how much more we have in common than differences. You are We get to, to play real people, and we get to play real stories, and that's that's a really, really rare opportunity. 1986, the first female American captain in history. Suddenly I'm in the cockpit. Suddenly I've got my wings. Suddenly all of the pilots protesting me. Well, they can get their own drinks. It is going to feel so breathtaking because we cannot help but think about and remember the horror of the tragedy that was 9-11 that was and the unexpected life change for 2,000, over 2,900 people and their families. And yet, like the phoenix out of the ashes, we rose and people lost loved ones, they lost relatives, they lost friends, but as happened with these passengers, they all gained. They gained friendship, they gained kindness, they gained a sense of that the world would, would ride itself again. 
but we can't ever forget. We can't ever forget what happened. But we have to live on to honor the people that lost their lives. And we are so fortunate that we get to present this show because it reminds people of people who were lost and it reminds us that those of us who lived have a, have a duty to live life to its fullest.